If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out easympc.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Today I just want to do a quick little uh, kind of guide, kind of warning, because on July the 7th when Steel Rain comes out, there is two camp building locations which are very popular and they are coming to an end. They're going to be getting removed due to new quest locations in-game, which you're going to have to avoid, otherwise you could lose your camp completely. So best thing to do is get rid of that camp as soon as you can and move on from it. Build another camp before you get disappointed. It isn't exactly brand new news, but it is just around the corner, so I thought I'd do this final warning for anyone that hasn't seen this news yet. So let's jump straight in. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new around here. That'd be awesome, thank you, and let's do this. Okay, so one of the first locations that is getting removed is this location up here, which is extremely popular for Raider camp builds. This one is what I like to call the Raider Bridge, basically. You see a lot of builds up here, and it is, as you can see on the map, just directly here, near the Monongah Mine. And this one's going to get removed because there is a new location getting added into the game, just over that way, I believe, um, which I'll show towards the end of the video, as it is spoilers and some of you might not want to see it. But as you know, this is a great location. Lots of people build here, including Neenotch. Absolutely like awesome builds. Aqua Nova's done some amazing builds here. Loads of people have, and it is such an awesome spot. But sadly, it is gone. The next location which is sadly getting removed is the one beside Harper's Ferry over here on this bridge. Now sadly, this one I'm actually very upset about because I love this location and I've been meaning to build a camp here for quite some time now and I've never gotten round to it. There's a lot of like random kind of NPC kind of interactions here, lots of weird stuff going on and it is an awesome place for some amazing camps and like I say, sadly it is gone. So this location on the map is right down here. You see there is Harpers Ferry, there is the railroad bridge that leads to. All this area will now be kind of blocked off and you won't be able to build here. And this is due to a new quest that's getting added in the Steel Rain update. Now I'm going to dive straight in and show you what they look like after the update. So if you don't want to see this, turn the video off now and make sure to hit the like button on your way out and also subscribe. But let's dive straight in and see what they look like in the PTS. Right everyone, we are back at the location we were just talking about, the Raider Bridge, I like to call it, which is getting removed and this is basically the reason why. So then, just as you come down, if you actually look in the distance you can see the Raider Bridge and this is the new location that's been added in, removing that really cool spot up there and also the little spots just down by it as well. And this is called the Metal Dome. It's a Blood Eagle Arena type of gladiator thing going on here. And it looks really, really cool. From the rumors I've heard and stuff, it is going to be a like new event location. Now, I haven't seen any exact information. All I've seen is rumors. And basically, what I think it's going to be is you come here and you defend against like waves of what I'm presuming is going to be robots, given the fact that there is them... Uh, little spawn thingy-majigs, I don't know what you actually call them, but the things that spawn out, the robots, like a Watoga and stuff, there is quite a few of them dotted around. We've got two over there, and there's also, uh, I swear I've seen more. Hold on. There's another one over there. Yeah, so there, there is quite a few dotted around, and obviously them big ones drop out the big sentry bots. So it is going to be cool to see what gets added in with this. Unfortunately though, and I, I, am, I can also confirm, this has nothing to do with Steel Rain. So it's definitely going to be a new event or something. And the unfortunate note is this hasn't been put into any form of testing yet in the PTS. So this is literally just a new location that's been added. And I haven't got a clue when the event is actually going to be coming in. But really cool location nonetheless. So really looking forward to this coming into the game and seeing what event they add with this. Let me know what you guys want to see from this event down in the comments. Do you want to see like a PvP arena? Do you want to see like a survival type of see how many rounds you can survive against the robots? This would be really cool, I think, if they did that. So really looking forward to it. Now let's jump on and see the next location. Now the next location, as you can see, hasn't changed much at all, apart from there is that new red doorway just at the back there, and that's what links with the Steel Rain uh, questline. That's going to be a new entrance that leads you to part of the questline, and it's a pretty cool quest, so definitely look out for it when it comes out in the update. But 
apart from that, nothing really changed. There's not really, I think a few bits and bobs have like been removed. Still got the free state sign on the wall there. But apart from that, it's pretty much exactly the same. Like even if we come underneath, it is literally basically the same. So nothing really changed about this location. It's just that you cannot camp here anymore. So sad news if you do enjoy this spot like me. Uh, if you guys have been watching a while, you guys know that this is one of my favorite camp spots and sadly it is going. So sad news, but it is what it is. So that is it for this video guys, nice, short and sweet. I just wanna keep you guys all updated and give like a final warning because obviously July the 7th, this is getting taken, where well, this is getting added to the game, blocking out these camp spots. Now there was a little thing after the video which I actually found out um, and on the PDS you can still get your camp modules very close to um, these actual camp locations. So I'll put the little things on screen so you can see. However, this is the PTS, so this is probably gonna change. Everywhere I kind of see anyone talking on this, they're saying that Bethesda has announced it. I haven't actually seen the exact announcement on the Discord or the forums or whatever. Um, but supposedly are getting completely removed. You won't be able to camp anywhere near them, which would make sense because as you can see on screen, when we test out the Harpers Ferry again, you literally can get your camp like r radius right up against the tunnel. So that would make no sense because let's say if someone wanted to be a complete arsehole they could literally just build a wall blocking off the entire entrance to the tunnel making you not able to continue on with your steel rain quest line so it's definitely going to change it's got to like surely bethesda can't leave it like that so yeah it'll be exciting to see and kind of interesting to see what happens when it gets like actually added into the game seeing where we can still camp and stuff around these locations because it will be sad to see the, the one like the raider bridge get removed so hopefully you can still build there but if they add in the like radius of say the new location of the metal dome and that takes up a certain area of your camp your camp could get deleted so best thing to do is move your camp but that is it for this video guys thank you all for watching don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>